cinematic man. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Missing Zark. Welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto V Online. Yeah. My yacht in the sun. All right. So, today we're going to get ourselves another rich guy toy. I, uh, a private jet. Yeah. So, big day. Big day for our guy here. I'm looking forward to it. Rather excited. This has been on my uh, to-do list for a long time. And uh, I got an account-specific uh, special, so keep your guys open for that. I find uh, it's not very um, direct about how it uh, tells you about these sales. You know, they just kind of, you kind of have to notice them on the uh, pop-up screens uh, when you're loading in. And sometimes, on occasion, you get the odd email. So I got an email the other day, and uh, it's kind of unfortunate because I just found out at the end of the week. The good news is I didn't want too much on them, but uh, I do got some sales on some aircraft. So, uh, like I said, I wanted a private jet for a while, and while it's on sale, might as well get it now. Even if it's not exactly what I was planning on at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> so I got my Elitist Travel shirt on. And, uh, let's see if we can order it up. Maybe we'll order it from the back here. Alright. So. <laughs> Alright, so let's browse. Oh yeah, we can press the web back here. Let's browse the web here. Alright. Let's buy it from the back of our helicopter again. Okay, so we'll leave this travel right there. Alright, so there's our private jet. Now, the reason why I'm getting one of these is just to have one. It's uh, just a toy. You know, they're not very useful, other than just for fun. <laughs> but they, uh, they added them in, um, I think it was summer of June... Yeah, summer 2016. So I think it was like June 16th for this one, the Nimbus. I'm not sure if that was all of them or just the Nimbus. But uh, but yeah, it hasn't been as long as I thought. So basically since last summer, the summer before, the one we're in now. So uh, that's not too bad, not too long. And uh, there's in the game, like I kind of want access to everything. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of want to get eventually access to everything. And uh, one of the things I don't have access to is smoking cigars for whatever usefulness that is <laughs> but uh, in the game there's only currently as far as I know there's only three places that you can smoke cigars now, there's a few places that's still kind of rare but a few places you can you can drink champagne um, but only three that you can uh, smoke cigars and that's this one this uh, private jet the Nimbus and the Luxor Deluxe and the helicopter where is it here it's here somewhere I think the golden helicopter did I already pass by it Huh. Yeah, I thought it was the Swift Deluxe, but maybe it's not on sale right now, as I thought it was. The Miljet is, and so is the uh, Titan. For me, anyway, uh, for account-specific special, anyway. But I thought this one was, too. But either way, uh, the Swift Deluxe, I believe that's the one where you can also smoke cigars. So these three expensive vehicles are the only places where you can. So that's why we're going to get one. Now this one, I'm not just getting it because it's the cheapest. I actually kind of like it. You know, I'm not too big on the gold. It'd be nice if they gave us other options, you know, like black and gold or ivory or ebony or a whole bunch of different things you could you could have done. You know, maybe some woodwork, but, but unfortunately it's just the gold. And this one's actually a faster aircraft, although I think this one actually has a better acceleration, but I think this one's actually overall the faster aircraft, as far as they, the write-up says anyway. So they fit eight people, so that's uh, seven passengers and the pilot and only four in the the, uh, the Swift Deluxe, so it's probably a better deal for these ones. And I'm gonna go with the Nimbus. All right, let's get it. Part of Finance and Felony. The Nimbus. All right, and it tells us up here, passive mode disabled in this type of vehicle. So, just so you guys know, any of those vehicles that uh, have passengers like that and you can smoke cigars, that you cannot go into passive mode in them. I don't know why, they're unarmed, <laughs> you know? It would make sense if you could do something with them, but they're just kind of, if anything, a target. So it just makes sure that you're a target by making sure that you can't go into passive mode, I guess. <laughs> anyway, it's normally 1.9 million. And for us today, we're gonna get it for 1.4 million and 25,000, which is pretty good. So that's why I'm gonna get that and save a, save a good MC cells worth of money. All right, let's see. Cutting Edge has always had its naysayers. What about carbon emissions? Why shave 30 minutes off your coast-to-coast -coast journey time in an age of video conferencing? <laughs> Why is the toilet made of rhino horn? Fortunately, the enemies of progress are completely inaudible when you and the other board members are daisy chaining at 40,000 feet. <laughs> Buy it now. All right. There we go. Purchase bending. Thank you for shopping and lead us travel. All right. Very cool. Wrong button. Gonna hop in first. All right. So almost. Oh yeah. Sunrise is pretty much. Sunset is pretty much done. Just got the glow now. Still very cool glow. All 
right, let's fly over to the airport and let's see if we can get it. Uh, let's see, Pegasus, right? Pegasus. Hello, oh, you're through to Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? There it is. The Nimbus. Great. The aircraft is waiting for you at our nearest airfield. We trust you'll be happy, sir. Okay. So the Nimbus is actually a name for a dark cloud. I think that's actually what it translates from, from Latin as a dark cloud, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and some people also know it from Harry Potter, but that's where Harry Potter named it from. Well, you know, in Harry Potter they have the Nimbus 2000, which is the fast uh, uh, broomstick that Harry Potter gets. But that's actually based on the name of the Nimbus Dark Cloud. So we've got the Nimbus one. Nice. Look at that. Awesome. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, that's all ours. Wow. Nice. So I'll have to see. So for those of you guys who are wondering about usefulness, um, I don't know if there are any of them useful, but uh, the Miljet is actually probably the best one. It actually fits a lot of passengers, but you can't smoke cigars in it, you know, and things like that. There is other airplane airplane choices, but you can't smoke in them and, and uh, drink champagne. They're just regular planes. But for those that are wondering, the Miljet is probably my choice in the future. We'll see. But otherwise, for fun, this one is. Yeah, there we go. There's our pop-up. Yeah, your new Nimbus is now confirmed available for Pegasus. Yeah, we already confirmed it. <laughs> All right, the lights are on inside. It's waiting for us. See the lights on? Cool. Well, that's cool. I think it shows up in a variety of colors. I'm not really sure what colors, but I'm pretty sure it does show up in a, in a couple different uh, libraries, if you will. So let's hop on board. Um, hmm. Yeah, so if I hold down, let's see if we can get into the back with nobody else here, just by holding down the button. We should be able to, maybe. Yeah, there we go. All right, maybe I should have gone into first person mode. Uh -huh. All right, I could switch over to it, but I want to see going in, so let's pop back it. Ooh, big zoom in there. Well, I, let's big zoom in. And uh, one second while I take off my sunglasses. All right. Okay, now it helps to face where you want to go. So I'm going to hold down the button. And then we don't hop into the pilot seat, we hop into the back. Wow, look at that, that's nice. I like that. Wow. What a nice woodwork. That's all lit up. Oh, that's nice. Got some drinks in here. Got some more nice woodwork tables. Nice. Wow. Yeah, if I zoom out, I can't. It just pops me right out of the plane. But we can in here. All right, well, um, before we smoke a cigar, let's uh, let's drink to our new aircraft. Drink to you guys, drink to us, drink to where we've gone. All right, yeah. Big player in Los Santos these days. <laughs> we've got a car warehouse, we've got office, we've got assistants, we've got like mechanics, bunker mechanics, and warehouse mechanics, and, and Johnny not so much on the spot mechanic. Yeah, it's good. Mm. Yeah, now we got an aircraft. And a whole bunch more. Alright, so let's try out smoking a cigar. Alright, mmm, yeah. What do you guys think? Think it's Cuban? Jamaican? Caribbean? Oh, oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was his first one, after all. Right on. So, like I said, it wasn't exactly a big deal, but for whatever reason, it's the only places in the game where you can smoke them. And now we can. Alright, so I'm going to press the button once. Oh, let me pop back out. Alright, and I guess keep it in first person, let's hop into the pilot seat. Nice. Very nice. I like. We got lights. Greater lights. Excellent. check it out and then I think uh, on a future episode we'll actually use it with some people and maybe give some people some rides <laughs> did I pause? yeah I did I got my new outfit just for my private aircraft yeah my styling sock zoom out a little bit there we go rich guy outfit <laughs> yeah it costs more than you can believe <laughs> all right so let's take flight it's not exactly a pilot's outfit but that's okay it goes with the plane Alright. 
Oh, we'll go to, we'll go to the lit up strip. I was gonna go to the quiet strip, but I think that's actually a taxiway. I think. And the actual runway would be the lit up one here. Could be wrong about that. I'm not I'm not a professional pilot. <laughs> Just a criminal one. <laughs> so But I think I'm supposed to dig out from this one. Alright. Yeah, it's not bad on the inside. Yeah, I like that a lot. There we go. And it gears up. Flying sock. Now we have a private aircraft. Hopefully we'll impress some newbies with it. <laughs> no, they are kind of cool. You know, I do like it. It's uh, a lot of the games about having toys after all, right? And so I do like having toys. Yeah. And now we've got ourselves a private jet. Yeah, one of those to be expected rich guy toys along with our yacht down there. It's lit up. Right? So now we got this. Yeah, she should be fully functional, you know, fit the sky, like way up, as high as we can go, which I think is around 8,000 feet in the online world, something like that. And they're kind of sluggish, but, you know, not bad compared to some planes. But generally speaking, if you want speed, then you want almost any other, the other uh, jet planes or things like that. But yeah, I'm happy. Very cool. Alright, so let's head over to Sandy Shores and we'll land it. Can we kill our engines? Should be able to, I'm just glad. Let's try out the gliding. Should kill the engines anytime now. There we go. Engines off and we are gliding. So usually I might, uh, you know, in the future episode, maybe we'll get some passengers and we'll fly up to the high altitudes, and then you just kind of glide your way along for silence. You start losing altitude, but you can keep it, uh, depending on the plane, you can keep it up for a while. See, I'm just holding back the stick right now. Actually, we're gliding along pretty nicely. Definitely losing altitude, but not as fast as some people would think. Yeah, and there's our runway coming up. Gears down. Let's return on the engines. Hmm, probably. But we don't need them. See if we ever lost power, I can handle it. <laughs> Actually, she's really nice. Like look at that glide. It's almost like I'm not even flying. It's just like like land in a feather. That's really nice. Now, I do have read that these are kind of fragile planes, guys. So just so you know, you want to be very careful. You want to watch out for any kind of obstacles or bumps or anything like that. If you're landing this on beaches, you know, like, ugh. <laughs> you know, be real careful with it. But that said, uh, that's a lot more soft and uh, agile than I expected it to be. Yeah. All right. Happy, happy sock. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you like that. hope that helped you decide for your future if you ever do decide to get yourself a uh, flying toy like this one, a uh, flying blingmobile, <laughs> a private jet for your for your uh, criminal enterprises. Yeah. And I uh, hope you might get the Nimbus. I like the Nimbus. So we'll see about the others. But I, I agree with other people. They're kind of overpriced. Now, mind you, the others are golden. So they're supposed to be like solid gold. They're gold-plated. So, you know, of course they would be expensive. But I kind of prefer this. It's like, uh, it's rich and it's bling, but it's practical. You know? It's uh, it's not too, uh, too gaudy. <laughs> you know? It's a little bit more subtle. Yeah. All right, everybody. Take care. I'm the Missing Sock. We'll see you again next time for more. Yeah, I just thought I'd show us our new toy. Well, we had that sale. So like I said, keep your eye open for those um, for those emails and messages that you might get on your phone. And keep your eye on those messages when you load up in-game. And sometimes you might see a message that says, just for you. 
and uh, read what it says, and it might be something you're interested in. All right. See you next time, everybody. Gonna have to practice my uh, turning around skills in the plane. Yeah, I'm definitely flying more helicopters than planes. But now I got something else to do with. I'll have to get some jet fighters soon, too. I wanted to get those first, but, you know, I wasn't in charge of giving myself the sale, so they gave it to me, and I thought, oh, I'll go for it now. <laughs> Who doesn't want to ride a jet? I do, I do. We did it. Made it big. Now I'm gonna have to call him Kenny. Get that fixed. 